one in bird. Uh, yeah. right. oh. There's one more slide. Okay. I thought, <laughs> I, I thought one we were going to skip that. Uh, my apologies. This really just summarizes all of the information that we have presented before with respect to the population splits as well as uh, employment splits between the incorporated areas, the cities, uh, as well as the county. And you can see, for the most part, many of these percentages lie within the urban centers, within the incorporated areas. Population 54% uh, is in the cities, 45% in the unincorporated areas of the county. Daytime population, as Matt was talking about, goes up further, 67% versus 32%. Hotel motel tax receipts, 86% versus 13% in the unincorporated areas. Accommodations, commercial digest, industrial digest. All of these uh, show a heavy balance toward uh, the incorporated areas as opposed to the unincorporated areas. You can see 78%, 76%, 67% versus the balance of the 20% range and the 30% range. Tax exempt properties. Most of the tax exempt properties where we actually are, are bearing the burden of properties that receive city services but we don't receive uh, any type of millage uh, compensation from uh, also contain the bulk within the incorporated area, 60% versus 39%. And of course, the hospitals and all healthcare employment are contained within the cities as well, 91% versus 8.42. Educational employment. Uh, the question was raised about schools. Many of the schools are located within the incorporated areas of the cities, and uh, we determined that 89% of them actually live there versus the 10.1 or 11%, uh, and all services as well. And obviously, acknowledgement of services that are uh, provided countywide, and point of sale, 67% uh, versus 32%, and a, a quantifiable tax burden of 63% versus 36%. So thank y'all for your presence here, for your patience, and missing that slide. <laughs>